Hi everyone, this is Jeff Jones. I am a founder of the Boxman.com where we have changed the way you should watch TV. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of things. But the main thing to start us off is I'm getting a lot of requests or questions about how do I align my electronic programming guide on my formula. I'll also take a look at some other stuff that have come up in our support group. So let's jump into it. Hi guys, it's Jeff and I am back. Thank you so much for tuning into this short video. Now, if you found us on the U a YouTube channel, Stream Machines YouTube channel, uh, we're also on Rumble and we do periodically do a little bit on Odyssey. Thank you, thank you, thank you for last year's support. Happy New Year to everyone here. So let's jump into it right now. Now, what has come up a couple of times is people have asked this big question, how do I fix my EPG? And I want to take some time to go over that and provide some step-by-step -step instructions and just show you what I'm looking at and what you will find you're going to need to do. And I'm finding a lot of this information I confirm it from the formula website. They have a great support group. Um, sometimes I know a lot about the devices, but when I get stuck on something, I find out from the manufacturer how to do certain things. So I'm not helpless. This is one thing about streaming that I want everyone to understand. It's easy to do. It's just a repetitive process. If you learn the repetitive process, then you'll have great success. So let's jump into this and find out what we need to do to Right now, there should be a still photo on the screen. We blotted out some things that are on the unit. What we did was, is we wanted to make sure we took a still picture of this and only show you the things that you need to focus on. A quarter of a way down, you're going to see something to the left that says EPG mode, something on below it says EPG offset, and something below that that says EPG interval. Those are the three options that you need to focus on, especially on a Formula Z11 Pro or a Z11 Pro Max, which I am on a Z11 Pro Max. You can see that my EPG mode is at default. You can see that my EPG offset is on none. And you can see that my interval is in a three hour interval. Now, depending on where you get your internet uh, services from, you might need to change one of these three things. So that way it lines up uh, so your guide is showing the correct information. Now, a lot of this depends on where you get uh, your information from but you can control what you can control and on the Z11 Pro and the Z11 Pro Max EPG mode EPG offset and EPG update interval would be the first three uh, lines that you need to take a look at and you can find a lot again at the, the formula uh, support website and that way you can find out exactly what the instructions are but that's what I did on mine before I made this video and I wanted to show this still Im image uh, so you can learn how to Okay, let's go ahead and, and handle the last part of the video. This has been coming up a lot this Saturday in the new year. I have been asked, what are some of the best ways to know that my formula or my, my media device, Android media device or another one, is connected to the internet? Now, I'm going to be looking at it from the formula point of view, but if I had another device that we have called our one and done, I would do the same thing. So... The first way you can tell you're connected to the internet, especially on a formula, is if you go down to this right here. If you have this with a number at the bottom, I am directly connected, so I have a thousand megabits per second or more because uh, I have high speed internet. If you have a question mark here or an exclamation point, you are now having some challenges uh, being connected to the internet. So the first place, is right here under this symbol here which represents your network the second place to go is called the help center if you go over to the newer boxes on the z10s or the z11s they have an update called the help center when i click on the help center look to my right 
If I wasn't connected, it would not say where it says network ethernet one gigabit per second. If it didn't have anything, you are not connected to the internet. So that's another way you can find out if you're connected to the internet or not, especially on a formula. The third way is at the top right hand corner. If you go into the top right hand corner and the time is off, <laughs> like really, really off and you've set it up before, you're not connected to the internet. So the time at the top right hand corner. And one of the last ways to tell if you're connected to the internet you could always go with, into My TV Online 3 or 2 or whichever one you have. If you don't get a connection and you have things connected to it, that's the one of the last ways to find out if you are connected to the internet. Now, the very, very last way you can see if you're connected to the internet, finally, is to go into the market here. If you click on the market app and nothing opens up or you only get like three apps like this, if you get something like this, that means my internet right now is being a bit challenging. So let me back out. But look, see? See how I have the exclamation point? I'm glad it happened because it happened before I made the video. Here's an exclamation point that tells me that I'm not connected to the internet, but I am connected. It says I'm connected here, but somewhere in my router, maybe I need to reboot my box. Maybe I need to reboot my router. But let's see if I could get this to jump start here. Yep, can't connect to the service or the server. So what you could do is I'm gonna do it right here to see if it fixes. I'm gonna hold down the okay button and I'm gonna restart my unit. Once I restart my unit, it should from the connection and reconnects once the Z11 Pro Max comes back online. And let's see if this fixes the last little bit here. Just waiting for it to open up here. Here it comes. If it doesn't work, it's okay. I might need to totally reboot my router. 